Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out this abstract optical illusion in Illustrator. Okay, first step, I'm going to create a background. I'm going to click on the stroke, click on the knot, click on the fill. I'm going to select the color. I'm going to go with the darker magenta. I'm going to select the rectangle. Press and hold shift. I'm going to go up here in the corner and I'm going to fill it up. Okay, I'm going to go to the layers. I'm going to click here on the toggle lock. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to create a new layer. And we're going to work on this. I'm going to select and long click on the ellipse tool, select the ellipse tool. And from here, now I'm going to go with this uh, magenta. I'm going to click on the stroke and I'm going to add the black color on it. I'm going to create a circle right at the center. Press and hold shift plus alt. Damn, this magenta is really strong. I'm going to increase the stroke a little more like this. I'm going to go with three. I'm going to select it, press Control C and then Control F. So he's going to paste the new copy on the front or you can go to the edit, paste in front. I'm going to press and hold Shift, scale this down from the left and I'm going to place it somewhere around here. Good. And now I'm going to recolor the bigger one with a blue. There you go. And the smaller one is going to be yellow. I'm going to select both, go to the object, blend me. I'm going to double click on the blend tool, select specify steps and decrease the number. About to try it out with seven. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to press Control C, Control F. Create a new copy on top. Press and hold Shift, scale it down until they intersect right here at the smaller circle. Now I'm going to double click on the blend and decrease the number. So it's going to be more rare. There you go. With four is good. I'm going to press and hold Shift. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to select direct selection tool. I'm going to select the blue smaller circle and I'm going to recolor it as yellow and I'm going to select the small circle and I'm going to recolor this magenta like this. Nice. And this is how you achieve this optical illusion in a cartoony style in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.